Yo, what's up guys, this is me and JK. Now you might be able to tell I'm recording this right after my reading log and I've been really putting off making this video because I've been, I had a lot during the month of February. The length of this video will probably say that itself. So yeah, I'm not gonna try to waste your time too much. I hope you guys enjoy and I will say, before I get into this video, I wanna know what you guys got this month. So please leave a comment down below about what you guys got this month. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I wanna show off to you guys that I did pick up in the month of February is the first two volumes of work by Taiyu Matsumoto, the first work I ever got by him, Ping Pong. I am super excited to have these, and I just found out that these are gonna be the biggest volumes of my collection after I got them, and these are super nice quality. I think they are some of my favorite volumes just off the look. They look super nice, and I really do like this. I know some people don't love it that much, but I think it looks really nice, and it fits very well. So I definitely do think it looks really nice. I've not yet read this because I got this pretty recently and I might be waiting on someone else to get it so then we can do something with the podcast. <coughs> Maybe a little hint, but yes, I cannot wait to read this with them. It looks super good and I've only heard good things about ping pong. I don't know like, anything about this, to be honest, and I've never read a Taiwan Matsumoto work, so... I'm coming into this series super blind. I'm going to be very open-minded about it. And I've also been recommended by my homie Tayo for a while to read this as well. So cannot wait to read this. I'm probably going to read this soon. So I'm just going to have to wait for that. So yeah, it's probably going to be on my reading log for um, March. So stay tuned for that. I might make a review on it. You know, I'm going to try and make less reviews. But yeah, on to the next series because I don't want to waste too much time. <laughs> the next series I did get is a series you probably don't see too often. And that's not in the single format you probably see it more in the omnibus format but i got volumes 11 through 14 kurosagi corpse delivery service the singles now it's kind of weird how it works this is a more papery feel and this is more like a normal volume but i got the singles i found them in a local comic book store so i decided to pick them up and there's still two there if i'm not mistaken so i'm probably gonna pick the other two up there but these look super clean i don't know if i'm ever gonna complete the set because i know the set can be pretty hard to get by but I'm, I mean, fine, but I probably will never find the set, so I'm happy to have some volumes, and mostly the ones that look my favorite, because I really do like the blue, red, and kind of like the salmon pink of this one. So yeah, I'm really excited to have Curse Eye Course Delivery Service. I know I'm not, I can't read it with volumes 11 through 14, but I'm going to probably try and get the first couple volumes sooner rather than later, but I know these volumes can all go for like $30 each, so... I'm gonna have to try find them for cheap and probably at comic book stores for retail. So yeah, it's probably gonna take me a while to get it, but I'm pretty excited just to have some volumes at least. So yeah, on to the next series. The next one I did get is the Monogatari first season box set. Now this thing is super beautiful. It looks so nice and I like how the, all the sides connect and even the volumes look so nice. And I think Yuzu is probably my favorite looking one. Um, hope you, hopefully you guys can see that pretty well, but I'm sorry if there's glare, but these are the nicest quality hard, uh, light novels I've ever seen. They even have French flaps, they have everything. They look so nice. Now I'm going to try to show you guys off the volumes so you guys can see what they look like, but these are super beautiful. I've only read a little bit of Bakke. You probably would see that if you saw my yesterday's video of my February reading log, so go check that out if you have not yet. But Baki got 3 so far has been really good. I really do enjoy it a lot. So I can't wait to see where it goes. And I'm probably going to be picking up the later on box sets as well. So. Sorry about that. I'll probably pick up the later on box sets as well. And I cannot wait to do that. But yeah. So I'm not. I'm waiting to get more into it uh, to actually do it though. I'll probably want to read uh, Baki Monogatari Lay 1 before I do that. But. Sorry. I'm going to try to show you guys this. But yeah, uh, this is also something that came with it. It's a little poster of the whole box set. But yeah, I'm really hyped that I got this in second hand before it came back in stock for a little bit. It was very expensive, so I'm really happy to have it and I cannot wait to read more. So yeah, on to the next series. Next up, I fell in love with it after reading this volume. After just reading volume two, I fell in love with the series and I had to pick this volume up when I saw it. And yeah, I think it's one of my favorite shonens out right now and that is Chainsaw Man. And I got volume three of Chainsaw Man this month. 
It is so good. I talked about my a uh, couple of my videos actually. My top 10 manga video, I put this in as an honorable mention because I don't think I've read enough. And also, I put it in my reading log of yesterday's video. So, of course, if you haven't checked that out, check it out now while you can. So, yeah, I definitely love Chainsaw Man. A little bit of a synopsis for Chainsaw Man. We follow Denji as he's blackmailed into helping these devil hunters kill devils until he was kind of backstabbed and he was killed himself. But his pet, who is a demon in itself called Pokita, decided to merge with Denji so that they can survive and he's now half human half devil he joins the public safety I always it's public safety something probably I'm gonna just say public safety company I could be definitely super wrong and he's just going on a journey of trying to cop a feel so that's like the whole entire synopsis Chainsaw Man and yes it might sound weird but anything Tatsuki Fujimoto makes is definitely weird and he does it so well and the art for Chainsaw Man is so unique and the characters are so great. I think you should definitely check out Chainsaw Man if you haven't yet. Now, I know the out-of-stock issue is major. It's very bad. But I definitely would suggest trying to find it at like, a local store if you possibly can. So, yeah. That's all I'd say about Chainsaw Man. Really good. Definitely highly recommend it. And let's go on to the next series. Next up, a couple of these volumes I actually got in my manga unboxing. I'm going to show off a couple of my volumes I did get in my manga unboxing. And the three that I did get of this series were Battle Royale Volumes 2, 8, and 15. Um, I'm going to go through these quick. The other one I just got not too long ago, and I got it for very cheap, so that's why I bought it in the condition it's in. And Battle Royale Volume 3, now if you don't know, I bought this for 2 bucks. That's why I don't care about the condition it's in. It's a not amazing condition. The spine's fine, so I'm still going to probably keep it. Now, I probably can't show you many panels or any panels at all because this series is pretty graphic. But I'm almost, I think I'm a little bit over a third actually completed with the series. Now, I can't wait to get more. I'm trying to collect the same spines. For battle royale so that's gonna be quite difficult but when i do finish it i will be very happy and it will look very nice so can't wait to do that and yeah i don't have much to say about battle royale plus i'm going to be going through these a little bit faster because i got them from my unboxing so let's just get on to the next series now the next couple of things i got in that unboxing as well so i'm just going to show these off quickly and that's gonna be slam dunk volume 17. i cannot wait to get more slam dunk i only have one two and 17 because i got this one as a a little bit of an add-on. Thank you, Manga Unbox, for that. He's always he's in the link in the description, like he always is, because he's my podcast partner. But I'm really hyped to get more Slam Dunk, and he just finished it and said it's amazing. So I cannot wait to see what I think of it. And I just hear from everyone, it's one of the best sports series out there. I'm trying to get a little bit more into sports manga, as my favorite one is Ace of the Diamonds. And I'm currently reading Nine Dragons Ball Parade, which has been getting me really back into sports manga. So definitely would hi highly recommend Nine Dragons Ball Parade, by the way. It's only two chapters out right now, just starting to show and jump. So, definitely can't wait to see more of that, and I definitely want to pick up some more Slam Dunk, so yeah. Get, let's get on to the next one. The next thing I got this month also in that was All You Need Is Killed. Now, I heard mixed things about All You Need Killed, because one of my friends just told me he didn't like it, but a lot of people tell me they like this, and I can't wait to read it. I mean, the art's made by Obata, so you know the art's going to be just fantastic, because the art's done by Obata. So I can't wait to see what it's like, and I heard the Edge of the Tomorrow, uh, Edge of Tomorrow movie was actually pretty, they based off this, but pretty bad, so I can't wait to see what the manga is like. Now, I know there's an original novel, which I might pick that up too, to see how I like them and compare them. I might actually make a video if I ever do that, comparing the manga and the light novel, but yeah, I am definitely cannot wait to read this. I know it's not that long of a read, but yeah, I cannot wait to read this. Now, also next up, I'm just gonna go straight through these. I got this also in the unboxing. Tomodachi Monsters. I read volume one. I'm liking it so far. I think it could be a pretty good three volume series. It's probably keeping my collection. I'm liking it so far and it looks really nice. And yeah, basically a synopsis for this since I've actually read some of this. Basically, we are following our main character of Naramiya as he is uh, finds a friend named Peak. Now I messed up my last video. I noticed after like a little bit of editing because I Record my reading log, edited it a little bit, then came on to here. They said peak or pike. I was talking about AOT. I was confusing about this peak and that peak. I don't know how, but I was. But yeah, it's peak. And basically, this is a friend, or a tomodachi in Japanese. And basically, they're kind of like Pokemon, and they're given to kids. And basically, whatever damage is given to those friends is also dealt to the owners. And... It's very dark and we just see basically a bunch of kids killing each other, which is kind of sick. And by sick, I mean very dark, but cool on how the battles are and how they are kind of like orchestrated. And I really do like Tomodachi X Monster from where I'm at right now. So cannot wait to read the other two volumes. And yeah, let's get on to the next series. And the next three series aren't from the unboxing, so it's going to be new stuff. You might see one right, right there too, so yeah. Next up, I got Moyo and Roji almost complete. I just need four and five. 
and there's 18 volumes of Moyo and Roji if you have never heard of it. I'm going to split this into two kind of showings because I'm not going to be holding 18 volumes, but yeah, I'm really happy I got this. I, ver I just read volume one like the other day. I pretty, I really enjoyed it. I'll be honest. I did enjoy it a bit. And I do like the look of the volumes, how like everything is like kind of glossy and then the characters are matte. I think that's really nice, but I love Moyo and Roji so far. I'm not going to say it's anything. I'm not, I'm going to say love very lightly because I really like the character designs and the characters so far, but the story, if it doesn't change up a little bit, I can see it getting very repetitive, but I don't think that's going to be the case as they're hinting towards a major arc in the first volume. So I think that's going to be different. It's not going to just be episodic like it is for most of the first volume. So that's good to hear, but basically a little bit of synopsis for Moyo and Roji. Basically we follow our main characters of Moyo and this is Roji. Which, I, when I first got this, I thought this would be Moyo and that would be Roji, but I guess it's the other way around. And Moyo is an executioner, and Roji is, I think, a second clerkman is his name. And executioner is the highest rank, and second clerkman is the lowest rank. Basically, they kind of go around helping people solve their issues with their ghosts. And after they solve one mystery for these people, they will never talk to them again. And basically, it's just Moyo messing stuff up because he's the youngest executioner ever. He's also one of the stronger ones. So I'm really excited to see where this story goes, mostly with how the ending of Volume 1 happened. Now, I'm waiting for a couple of my friends to actually start reading this with me because one of them needs to pick it up and one of them just needs Volume 12. So I need to wait for that. But yeah, I'm just going to show you off the other eight volumes I think I have. Ten? Around there. I don't know. But I will say, these covers, straight, straight heat. They're pretty heat, I will admit. And the character design, very unique. I, I do like the character design a lot. Now this guy kind of reminds me of the bird dude from Haikyuu. I will highly admit that, but... <laughs> and this guy reminds me of Jesus, but that's okay. But I think that this series probably has quite a bit of potential. It does give me Mob Psycho vibes, but without kind of humor and more of a little bit of a serious Mob Psycho, which is something I really enjoy. So I can't wait to see where this goes. It's only 18 volumes. It's not too, too many. It's not like, you know, the One Pieces with like... 90 something plus i think the characters are pretty enjoyable i really do like roji a lot from what i've read so far so i can't wait to see more of roji and yeah i just can't wait to get to the end of this because i've been enjoying it so yeah on to the next series the next series is now girasawa work that you probably saw in my reading vlog yesterday if you watched that too and that is asadora if you want my opinions on asadora i think it's pretty good like a solid 7.5 out of 8 and i think it's a pretty good volume one thing I will say about the volume, though, I hope that the spines change colors. One of my friends told me they were, and the next one's going to be pink with a teal Asadora, like a, the lettering semi teal. I can't wait to see that, because I feel like that would be really nice, but yeah. Asadora, Naoki Arasawa's art's always good, so it's nothing to be afraid of for the art. The story, I kind of don't like the protagonist much, but the side character, uh, side character of Kazuga is really interesting to me. I really do like him as a character, even though... He does do something messed up right away, but I do really, really, really like Kazuga as a character, which is kind of ironic because I really do like Kazuga from Flowers of Evil as well, and they share a name, but talking about that, amazing quality, French flaps, colored pages in the beginning, and I really do like how they do this because it's supposed to give you more retro feel, so the colored pages are like more paper and kind of like newspaper looking too, which is something I really enjoy. And I really like that, so I really like how they did this, and I really like how they made this volume, and a little bit of a synopsis for Asadora, we follow this girl named Asa, as she's a uh, sibling of 12, I believe, and she's kind of the forgotten sibling, until one day where a typhoon's about to hit, and she gets kidnapped right before the typhoon, and her and her kidnapper gets trapped, and then when they get, uh, when they get out, they are trying to help the other people try to survive. So that's what I've gotten so far, but off the color pages in the first couple of chat, uh, first couple of pages, there will be kaiju, and there will be a Godzilla I'm expecting, so I'm kind of hyped to see how it transitions to that. But yeah, I really did like Outstore 7.5 out of 8, but for Naoki or Salwa, that's a pretty good start, because if you don't know, Naoki or Salwa works usually start a little bit slower, and they usually are just trying to build up. So I can't wait to see where this goes, and yeah, it was definitely a lot of build up in this uh, volume, so I expect more from the later on volume, so yeah, cannot wait for more Asadora. <sighs> Finally. The last volume of this haul, Blue Period Volume 2. If you don't know, this is probably one of my favorite new gens. I know this is actually considered a seinen, but this is probably one of my favorite new gens seinen slash shonens. It can be 
either one of the genres and I would say it's one of my favorites in the new generation. It is so fun. It's such a unique kind of concept. Now I know some people might be drawn away from the art because the art style isn't normal. It's definitely very different from the rest, but I definitely think that it makes up for it with an amazing story. And I'm not saying the art style is even bad, but even the color pages that just show up are just super colorful. They're super nice looking. And even the volumes itself just come this volume had so much great story in it and a lot of build up for stuff that's going to be coming in the near future of the series. So I cannot wait for more Blue Period. But a little bit of a synopsis. We follow Yatoro Yamaguchi as he was a huge delinquent. Now he didn't really want to be. He's more of a social drinker and a social smoker until he found art. And art really pushed him away from all of that. He started really getting addicted to art and he started kind of pushing that away from him and trying to get into Tua. Now you're probably asking, what is Tua? Well, Tua is the Tokyo University of Art, which is a very prestigious school for art and he is trying his hardest to get in. But there's only 50 spots that are going to be able to be taken and only 10 of those spots are for oil painters. Now, he is an oil painter and he is trying his best to get in against the people who are first timers taking this exam and even people who are veterans taking this exam to get into Tua. So it's very exciting, a great kind of psychological painting manga, which is something you wouldn't actually expect is a psychological painting manga, but it really is. And it's done so well. So I definitely highly suggest Blue Period. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I like how I transitioned that so poorly, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. And before you get off this video, I want you guys to go in the comments down below and say what you picked up. Like I said earlier, it would be really cool. And I want to get some more recommendations for manga. See maybe if I will pick any of them up. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope I see you guys next time. Peace.